There's no visual, right? No, it's just I, this. Okay. I might, I I might go into like a secret camera. On I the might wall. go into Microsoft Paint and make a <laughs> nice. <laughs> look awesome. So you can look like shit if you want. That's fine. Oh, it's just audio. That's, That's great. I, w I want to hear your Northampton story, but I want to fill him in on my little work adventure. Oh yeah. Summer. Well, let's just say first, this is our first one. Oh yeah. This is kind of a reboot. Mm -hmm. We did one. Uh, years ago. We did one. You know, what I realized while I was taking a piss, it was almost exactly four years ago. Really? Because yeah. it was during the Olympics. Yeah, because we still have that animated short. And this is the uh, the new Olympics. Rio, baby. Yeah, Brian was still around for the last one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Never forget. I miss him. R.I.P. No. So I actually saw him yesterday. Where's Brian? <laughs> Special guest. He's in, he's in Maine. Oh, okay. he's Maine up, or he's Costco. Oh, the great above. Oh, no. oh, yeah, by the way, uh, everyone here, it's <laughs> Nate. We got Mitch, we got TJ, and we got EJ. Hello. Don't so. be confused. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's... Uh, I haven't really told you about my job, right? You've only told me the fact that you farm and it's long days. Yeah, it's a... Uh, so I if you had an interesting like group of people there, because there was this one guy, uh, I'm going to call him the Scarecrow, just because he stands <laughs> in the field and does nothing. Okay. It's uh, The Scarecrow is a 52-year-old, like, 6'1 Jamaican man who is very heavy set. He's like 250. He's, he is a large man. Built or just heavy? He's got, he looks like he's pregnant. Okay, okay. <laughs> I come in and, um, I, he lied to me in the beginning because uh, on my first day my boss wasn't there and he told me he was a boss. <laughs> <laughs> he just sat above me, just, like, he would just stand there and, like, just stare at me. I thought he was just making sure I was working well, but he was just, he just didn't want to work. And, um, he's also, you've played Ocarina of Time, right? Both times. He's the equivalent of a Jamaican Navi. Oh, it's just, always hey, hey, look, 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 look at this, listen, listen, look at this, hey. <laughs> you know, um, so. Useless tips you already know. What's up? Useless tips you already know. No, he would just, he would just grab the hoe from me and do exactly what I did, then hand nice. it back. <laughs> After saying, watch me, like this, like this, not like that, watch me, watch me. Then, uh, there was some point where the kitty would just always shit on, quit. <laughs> And he was just, he was so upset he didn't quit, know what to do quit, with his quit, quit, quit. Just, Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> like, he was a mess. He was, like, drinking in the field and stuff. He was just, he didn't know what to do with himself. And one day he decided he didn't like me anymore. Oh, God. <laughs> I was just, I was just picking plants one day, and he's freaking out because he can't figure out how to turn the water on in the greenhouse. It comes out, he's just yelling at me. My boss tells him to calm down. He throws a fit and leaves. Did he quit? Or... No, he quit, didn't quit. Quit, quit. It's, uh, and then, uh, I guess he... He's like eight, and he told my boss, he's like, yeah, I'm not going to talk to him anymore. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't talk to anyone but him. Jesus. So I, I was like, yes. <laughs> I'm <in the> <laughs> um, is that the same guy as Machete Guy? I'm getting there. Okay, oh, getting yeah, there. I'm right. getting there. This is taking a turn. And, uh, the thing I didn't mention was, uh, he, I, in the beginning of work, I told uh, you guys that I wanted to go out machete shopping because he just carried around machetes. I guess it's like, he brings his own machete. I think you might have mentioned this in passing to me. Yeah. Like, we're not supposed to have them. He just brings it around. It's so people won't listen to him. One day, he, um, he is 200 yards downfield, because we have fields that are way too long for the irrigation, but that's, that's just poor planning on their part. <laughs> okay. Because the irrigation is supposed to go 100 feet, and they're 600 foot fields. It's, and he, moving Oops. past that, he is 200 yards downfield, just standing over his friend who now works there, just, just watching him. So I'm like, all right, I pick up a hoe, and I just start hoeing down at the end of the row. And he comes down, and he does, and after a couple, like, 10, 20 minutes, he just bodies me, grabs the hood out of my hands, and then just steps over two rows and starts walking away. So, like, I'm kind of mad because it was also 90 degrees out, yeah. and he was just doing nothing. I, said, I yelled at him. I was like, well, I need the hoe to just do effing nothing. And then he pulls his machete on me. <laughs> oh, <gosh>. <laughs> <laughs> he's pointing at me, and he's, like, screaming at me. He does, like, slash the thing. He's pointing at me. He's yelling at me to come over there and fight him. You know, and I'm like, oh, shit. So I just, uh, I walk up and go get my boss. And my boss is like, all right, I'll write a report. I'll tell our boss, all that fun stuff. So, you know, I'm like, all right. Next day, he's still there. Two weeks later, like, still nothing has come of this. Like, he still carries machete around just just because. Great weapon in Last of Us, by the way. It is. Machete? So, no, I haven't uh, used it at all. I'm more of a fan. You're winning I'm... every melee battle. If you Except, have a uh, what if you have that, unless, like, that plank with two scissors? They have boss a scissor sword. sword. It's, a. <laughs> that beats everything. If anything bad happens in the world, I'm going to get one of those. Just a plank with two scissors? Yeah, just a plank, two scissors, and some duct tape. Dude, I can gift people. It's just... That's like my favorite thing in the game, where you like just craft. You go to like all the supply boxes, you make like a little ring around, you know how there's four? Yeah. So, I don't really 
involve myself in any like the fighting and then i just get all the supplies and i get three gifts i just show up to someone like pink 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 what do you do to it uh, every time you craft something and when mm -hmm. you close the menu menu you get a little bonus so if you can craft three things you get the same bonus so like you should craft one thing close craft one thing close you get oh really yeah you get that 30 sick. more points nice we should play again yeah. we should so it's uh and after like two weeks of this machete guy still being there i come up to my boss because uh another guy in the field He's, you know, I'm not going to say his name, but he's the man. Because he was just in the greenhouse one day. He's like, I've been telling everyone that this guy has got to go. He's like, I'm just drunk enough today where I'm going to say something. <laughs> it's, uh, it's 2 p.m. Oh, God. <laughs> We've been out. at work since 7. And he, um, my boss comes in, he's screaming at my boss to do something. And I look at my boss and I say, did you even tell your boss, like the guy who owns the farm? He's like, no. Oh, I was like, a guy... Pulled a machete. I guess. I guess he pulled a knife on some other people there too. Jesus Christ! I, I was like, you don't even think this is worth mentioning to your boss? And he's just like, I don't get to see him. I'm like, if I'm gonna go tell him, he's like, no, no, I'll, I'll go tell him. And uh, now uh, that guy no longer works there. The machete guy. So uh, nice. That's good. Yeah, because I was um, I was like legitimately afraid because he was telling me all this like back when uh he was still just over my shoulder as like the fake supervisor. Mm -hmm. He was telling me about how uh. He would like he was on a different farm and he cut somebody with that machete. He's like with this machete. Like, I didn't like how they were doing the job they're doing, so I cut him and then I fired him. Jesus H. <laughs> <Just like this. laughs> and, uh, oh God. He plans to. Uh, he has a very open plan to fly down to Jamaica and kill somebody. Because <laughs> he was on the phone and he was just screaming just like f bombs, just horrible language. Mm -hmm. He gets off the phone. My boss asks him what's up. And he's just like, some guy beat up my mom a year ago. We just found out who it was. He's like, I'm going to fly down and kill him. <laughs> you know, because I work with interesting people. They're not like, don't do it. They're like, you're going to get caught. <laughs> he goes, no, I'm not. And we're like, how are you going to kill him? He's just like, I'm, I'm going to take a five-gallon jug of gasoline and a lighter. I mean, his machetes work so well so far. You might as well just use that. He's just like, I'm going to douse him in gasoline and light him on fire. We're like, you're going to get caught. He says, no, I'm not. You're stripped down to nothing. You do it and the boxes are naked. They can't, they can't say this guy killed him and he was wearing this. You're wearing nothing. They can't, they can't point you out. I mean, so, I guess he's burning the evidence, but still. He was, he was something. Oh, God. If that happens now, this podcast is going to end up on Crime Watch. Yeah. <laughs> Guys are famous. <laughs> Not the kind of fame we want. Oh. My work stories are no worse similar to that. It's just <laughs> the old lady who can't find her car. And then she's like, I feel like it's in this row. I'm like, do you? Do you now? Do you really? I'm like, let's check. Like, oh, oh, there was this one time where there was this older woman. And she's like, all right, we're going to, you know, you're going to lift my dog food in your car. I'm like, it's fine. It's like you mind you, it's ninety five in this like parking lot and then you can feel the heat radiating up from you know, it's like you feel like the world's gonna crack up open and you're gonna see Hades, he's gonna be laughing at you and there's gonna be the the world's gonna shrink back up. But anyway, um someone gunned the the ground with a temp gun. And it was around like you know, like one twenty, like on the ground. Yeah. What's a temp gun? It's it's a, like gold. Oh, oh no, it's fine. Um it's basically like just um, it's only a gun sometimes. A little, it looks like a little <laughs> Nerf gun. <laughs> it's a half gun. Um, and it just fires like a little like you know laser pointer beam, and then it tells you the temperature. Oh. Uh, okay. And so it was one of those days. Temperature and gun. she was trying to find her car, and she's like, "All right, I think it's gray." I'm like, "Okay, cool." <laughs> and so she like passes it, and she's like, "It's a white Subaru." I'm like, "Okay, so it's white now." And so then we're looking for it, and she's like, "Oh shit, I forgot it's a dealership car." I'm like, "Come on, lady." So you know, I do that, and then <sighs> the only other things I can think of is that the people with uh, <laughs> they always want electric carts right there uh, in the foyer, and there's only like around four electric carts, right? And so there was this one day where there was this lady. She's like, do you have any electric cards? And so we, Kirk and myself, will look over. And we're like, oh, they're right there. And then I thought of a Rick and Morty line. Oh, God. And I was like, oh, I was like, Kirk. I'm like, you ever watch Rick and Morty? He's like, no. I'm like, you sh I, as you said, the right over there, you'd be like, eat some fucking shit. <laughs> Super fucking bitch. And that's it. I think, um... Uh, well, some of the more interesting things that happened to me at work, uh, or a few years ago, nothing interesting has happened recently, um, but to preface the story, I work uh, in my city as a painter with the school system, mm -hmm. paint a bunch of walls, bathrooms, a bunch of, bunch of crap, and 
when I was first working there my first year, there was another kid. His name was Clayton. Uh, he <laughs> he's a character. Before we go on, he he was asked by my boss Carl. He went to go to a solo room in a bathroom. Normally not an odd thing, except it's usually irrationally hot in bathrooms and they suck. Um, go paint it ivory beige, he says. Do all the walls. Don't touch the stalls. So, <laughs> half a day later, we, we're, we go in, we sweep it all, we see what's good. And we notice the color's a little off. Uh, he's still painting the room. And we asked him, Clayton, this isn't ivory beige. This is dapper tan. How did you get this screwed up? It's written on the can. And that's when we found out within our painting crew we had the colorblind painter, Clayton. Ooh. <laughs> he was fired a week later over another incident. Oh, no. He was... So that was like a Thursday. Yeah. Over the weekend, he did some rabble-rousing and broke his arm. Okay. Um, ever since we found out he was colorblind, we kept him with some of the, someone else, so he's always painting my color. Yeah. And he takes his, his arm with a cast, and he props a full paint bucket up on it like this. <laughs> Uh, top off and everything, and begins to climb a ladder. <laughs> and he's nice. on the top. Okay. Oh, it's just safe. Yeah, exactly, right? This is the conditions that uh, Nice City goes through. He climbs it about halfway up and falls off the ladder, full paint bucket, everywhere. <laughs> Black, all over the floors, all over the walls. Or his cast, too, right? Uh, everything. Did all over the floors. little body out of paint? <laughs> <laughs> I wish, but no. It was, it was a lot more get in there and clean it before it dries up. Or you're fired, too. <laughs> so that's probably the most interesting thing that's happened to work. Can you tell the time. janitor full circle thing? Oh, good lord! <laughs> All right. So um, I had a janitor in elementary school. Uh, his name was Chuck North, mm -hmm. but he changed it legally a few years later to Chuck Norris because he thought it was hilarious. And mm -hmm. he, when I was in elementary school, uh, I was a little, little brabber. I was a little. You were a little shit. Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And one day I went to go use the restroom. Uh, on my way there. Walked in, in there is Chuck. He's refilling the paper towels. He mm -hmm. pulls the thing off the wall, bent down, put the Did paper towels. Did you get diddled? In. <laughs> he got diddled. Oh wow! Okay, <laughs> I was close. <laughs> you were very close. <laughs> so I, I walk up behind him, and in my like ten-year-old like ideas of brilliance, I kick him in his ass. Oh. I think that's the funniest thing ever <laughs> at the time. He freaks out. He runs out, goes to the principal. He. I got punished for like a week of detention or something like that. You kicked Chuck Norris's ass. I did. <laughs> that is very true. That is a story I like to tell as well. And well, don't tell the whole story. Just tell that part. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, he goes to the the principal. Principal comes out. He's rip shit. He wants me to paint the whole damn school with him over the summer. She's like, he's like ten. That makes no sense. Why would he do that? Um, a few years later, uh, when I'm seventeen, I think it was sixteen, I start working for the painters. Like I I did. I explained the previous story. Um, he got moved to Fairview sometime while I was in middle school, which is another uh, school in the system. Uh, I found out who he was after hearing uh, over the radio, I heard, Chuck, can you come, you know, et cetera, et cetera, janitor duties. I, I was working with a man called Rich. I haven't seen him in a few years now after he got fired for sleeping. And I explained to him the story of the whole, I kicked the janitor's ass. And I go and tell Chuck the next day, I'm like, Chuck, do you remember? He's like, no. Well... When I, when I was in elementary school, when you worked at Barry, I kicked your ass. Literally kicked your ass. And he was surprised. He doesn't remember the story until I go a little more into detail and all the um, repercussions and such. And snaps his finger. He's like, oh, yeah, no. Time's a funny thing, isn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah, sure, he, sure as hell is. He got exactly what he wanted. You're painting the school exactly every summer. Like, uh, that same damn school every he single time. He might have time. cursed you. I'm actually working it today. So this is kind of a pilot, I think. We're just going to see how it goes. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's doing well. It's already better than last time. Yeah. Which had some distasteful jokes, which is why we rebooted it. Yeah. I think we should just have it once every four years, though, and just talk about the Summer Olympics every time. Oh, nice. Okay. I'm, I'm down. Did anyone uh, watch any Olympics? I watched fencing. Uh, how was that? Really cool. How was fencing? Um, it's cool because the way they program it is I thought it was going to be, you ever seen the original Karate Kid? You know how they do the tournaments where, like, a clean hit, and then you have the referee, and he's like, you know, Johnny! Right. Hit point, yeah. and he's like, "Oh shit!" And so, but in the fencing, like, there's no referee there. They have like their fencing suits. You know, they're still the standard stuff, mind you. Like their flags are on their faces too. So you got like <laughs> one guy who's America man, and then you got versus Britain man. And I thought that was cool. And uh, the America way they registered right? the hits is like 
their face or their shoulder or stuff will like light up and they're different colors so you can like, like motion sensor i thought that was really cool and there was this one cool thing i guess i don't know the rules of fencing but some guy like parried right and i guess you can do a move that counts as a point where like you take the person's arm and you know how like you stab someone in real life it's just gonna go through their body mm -hmm. if you can get the sword under their arm you can get a point that's great right? like that, that that's pretty cool that's all I've pretty much watched so far. The difference uh, between fencing and real sword fighting is nothing after the stab matters, mm -hmm. right? But yeah. in real sword fighting, I know, yeah, you can't leave yourself open even yeah. after a hit. I mean, no. if you're a good sword fighter, you just need one, right? <laughs> I mean, yeah, but they're not going to die immediately, yeah. usually. Just straight to the ground. Fall to the floor. Pop in a balloon. Mm -hmm. So it lights up when uh, they get it? Yeah, it lights up. It's I think cool. that's the same technology that uh, I watched a video. It was... Uh, there's kind of the history of that. Mm -hmm. uh, this company implemented that into hockey, so you could see the puck. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's and real. no one liked it. People hated it because it's like you're not a true hockey fan if you have oh, trouble following yes. the puck. So then oh, they put yeah. it into football, and they use like the field as a green screen, mm -hmm. and so it like lights up all the lines. Yeah, that's the line of scrimmage in uh, ten yard line. Mm -hmm. So it's cool that they're doing that with fencing. Mm -hmm. It's uh, I saw a biker lady. I don't know if she is dead or paralyzed but uh, -huh. uh she was taking this corner and uh her front tires just skidded out a bunch Ooh. and she flipped forward and landed on her neck and then like skidded oh. on her face oh and that's terrible went limp where'd yeah. that come from when what yeah, that was that was a couple days ago it's uh my dad showed me the video These... this this lady she was in first by so far she takes this corner her front tire just like it's just shaking and then her bike flips out from underneath her and she just lands on her face i think i saw that yeah that was the only part from the olympics i saw someone did a bike crash yeah these Olympics, people were taking dives left and right, I feel like. Especially I mean, in diving. <laughs> yeah, true. Like that? Yeah. The, the poor uh, kayaker, too. Oh, what happened to the kayaker? Yeah, they, uh, he hit a sofa. Yeah, he hit an <laughs> underwater sofa. Wait, LA Beast? Wait a second. No, real, <laughs> real people didn't clean up if the LA river. If LA Beast ate it first, there wouldn't be a problem. Mm. Yeah. He didn't do his job. Yeah, they didn't clean up the river, and he was just he was just going, I don't know if he was winning or not, he might have been middle of the pack, but uh, he just hit a, ca he hit a couch that was under the water, and his kayak just flipped over. I, uh, I heard they developed this technology for all water events um, like that where it's outside. You know how the water's like so shitty there. They have like mm -hmm. like a lot of diseases. They have to wear like, these like full body suits that are like water and permeable so that the water doesn't get into their system and it affects them. But then I was talking to Kaylee about it. And so apparently like the Brazil athletes are talking mad shit because of, like, oh, you know, your water armor is going to weigh you down. You know, <laughs> we've been in this water for such a long time. We've got resistance to the diseases. So, buy it. basically. You know, this is, this is, if the Olympics were a video game, this would be the first game, because you just can't go in the water and live. <laughs> <laughs> Two of the pools are, like, totally green. Yeah. yeah they, they don't know why yeah. yet. Oh. It's disgusting. They show the people just diving into it. It looks like they're diving into grass. Oh. Ugh. Man. I, I ended up watching the, um, I ended up watching a max, or match, excuse me, of boxing and a match of archery. At uh, the same time? Eating. It's cool. Great sport. It's, yeah. I, you shoot clubs at each other. Exactly, right? <laughs> I saw the U.S. run a train on the Chinese team in basketball, like they were the Harlem Globetrotters. <laughs> There's a walk-in. They, apparently, they just went, they won every single game in, like, the preliminaries against the other countries. Yeah. I don't know how they're doing now, but one guy hit the alley-oop pretty hard. They don't even have, like, LeBron or anything. No Phelps got his 20th gold. 21st, Did he? 21st, yeah. yeah. Damn. How many events? Crazy. Is there a max amount of events you can do in the Olympics? I don't think so. Yeah. If you qualify for them, you can just do however many. That's sick. Yeah, and you know, you can do all the swimming ones. So you can't do, like, distance. Is there distance in the Olympics? Uh, I think yeah. there's distance. Laps, but yeah. Like, running? Yeah, yeah. There's, no, there's like, longer. There's swimming distance? Yeah, there is. Okay. Yeah. Is he a good distance swimmer? I have. I know almost nothing about Michael Phelps. I know nothing about the Olympics. I know no, he smoked good. weed I don't know why right I'm after um, his big Olympics, and they're like, he's not a hero That's anymore. all I remember, yeah. And, uh, that was a big deal. Yep. I can't even wasn't. tell you what event he did. I know swimming. one of them, he no, finished swimming. like the same instant as that other dude. Um, I He's... know from a commercial today that um, Lochte, I think it's Mo oh, Ryan Lochte. Yeah, Ryan yeah, Lochte yeah, has a world record in something. I know he has something. Fastest like rebound off of a... Uh... Like uh, like he'll, when he'll hit the wall, he's like the fastest back. Oh, really? Like that, yeah. Is that really what his I world record that's is? is yeah. That's okay. I thought that's like that's cool, but that's like not as big of a deal as like oh having the world record for a, a single event. Yeah, like the four hundred. Yeah, exactly. Or something. Did you say Bolt doing anything? Um, yeah. Did he, he uh, break his 
something. He like tore something. He tore, tore like a his hamstring, right? Hamstring. He oh. tore that before the Olympics started. I that think. sucks. I don't you know, care. He plans on running though. I thought. Really? Yeah. He just did a crazy press conference uh, the other day. He uh, there were just like samba dancers in bikinis coming out. This is a press <laughs> conference <laughs> talking about the Olympics. Jesus. And uh, I guess at press conferences you're supposed to be all like stoic and serious. He yeah. comes out and everyone just starts erupting in applause, and he's like, "You guys can do better than that." <laughs> Get oh, hey. yeah, the gem. Mm-hmm. He throws a knee out of notes. <laughs> um, you guys want to talk about uh, Pokemon Go? Yeah, let's sure. talk about Go. How uh, do you guys feel about Go in the state? I feel like you should lead moment. us off, Mitch. Because I was very passionate about it mm-hmm. yesterday. Yeah. I think it sucks right now. Yeah. Great game. It was one of the most unique experiences in mm-hmm. gaming. One of my favorites. Mm-hmm. And they took that. They mm-hmm. took that great game, and they ruined it in like two weeks. Mm-hmm. It sucks. Mm-hmm. You can't catch them, and you can't find them, and they're taking away features, and they're not saying shit about it. I'm with you. So, how do you guys feel? Yep. Go ahead. They've yes. made a lot Give of your hand posts up. within the last, like, three or four weeks, and they've actually updated so you can do, make most of that stuff again within the last three days. There's no tracking. Tracking's not there. Yes, there is. They, is there? There's, there like, is. the tree one. No, no the, 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 the they're in the grasses. Is, there's sightings in nearby. Sightings is just them in the grass, and nearby is a list that only a few people have because it's own beta. That just randomly people randomly select and have it. The point of the nearby list is it'll show the Pokemon and then the Pokestop is next to it. And if you click it, it zooms out the map. And it'll show you where it is, which Pokestop it's at, so you can go get it. That's still in beta because some niantic reason they haven't said so far. But other than that, they have updated a bunch of other crap. They've changed, um, they made a bunch of, uh, well, if you check their Twitter or their fucking blog post right now, you can probably see all the updates we've been talking about. Do they have a community manager now? Nah, she's still on maternity leave, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> So but they, 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 they do one. have someone else talking for them right now. Okay. Because uh, they lost me for like a week. Yeah. It's been about a week since they started talking. That makes <laughs> sense. Okay. Well, that's better. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm quite enjoying it. At the very I'm least. just, I, I mean, never gave up on it. I still have the app. Yeah, I'm here. just waiting for yeah. them to get their shit together. I'm just, I'm using this time to just power up my Beedrill. And then by the time everyone comes back, I want them to see like a 2,000 Beedrill and all the <laughs> uh, I'm a fifth of the way there. I hatched, I had nine <laughs> eggs. I had three, I always call them incubators, but they're incubators. <laughs> um, I had, I broke two of the ones that you can break, and yeah. I have my infinite one, and I have one egg left. So the next time we go hunting, because I haven't gone to any poker stops at all, just because where I, where I work is a dead zone, but I'm outside most of the time, so I just keep it on. Um, I have one egg left, and I don't get Jack Diddley. Yeah. For hatching, I, I get tens, I get twelves, like well, ten like candies. Oh, oh, um, I thought you had like common, right? things. So it's like, like it's like all right, but I, I sometimes I'll be talking to someone who's like, yeah, you know, I hatched my Growlithe and I got twenty five candy. I'm like, I got eight. I've got a Pidgey. Eight, basically, right? I've got eighteen candies every single time, and I assume that was standard. Yeah. No, it's a. Uh, it's like it's like 10, something 10, to thirty 10. or something. Yeah, it's ten to thirty. I think. Ten to thirty. I've gotten five before. I've gotten five? I've gotten five. That's crazy. That's just you, probably. Yeah, it's, uh... (laughs) No, because the thing is, I've seen two... I'm at level 15. I've seen two Pokemon in the wild above 300. That's crazy. Everything I've seen is below 150. It looks worse than mine. I have bad luck in that game. I I didn't believe you guys that you guys said it could be above 150. I thought it just... I thought they capped it at the the Pokedex number. Mm. (laughs) Do you have good luck? Do you have good luck? Yeah. Yeah, He has a team of thousands over here. Jesus. I, I had good not, luck, but then I, I could get. Playing cause I, I, I could get uh, a thousand. Pretty good. One at least. Pretty good blast um, I don't want to waste the shit on it because yeah. I know the blast I caught at nine hundred and the gold luck was at eleven. Did you? One well, I'm sad that I missed. What's up? When I was at work, when the tracker still worked, mm. our town has a Charmander spawn. Yeah. Like we have a like a swarm base of them. Yeah. They they resell the spawns. I they missed did. the charm. No, I, I missed the Charmander. Some no, Kurt. My. Like it might have been part of the original plan to routinely mm-hmm. switch the spawns. I, that, that would make sense. But it's just, I missed I missed their starter <laughs> nest. But it's, it is yeah. bullshit, though, that the tracker wasn't working, and then they yeah. switched it. Charmanders yeah. are still there, though. Yeah. No, are they? Yeah, yeah. Some places oh. are still the same. Like, my where I'm working right now is a Bulbasaur nest. How do you okay. think I got the Blastoise? Okay. Our place with the Jinxes is, is now Scythers. It is? Well, which is even, better. We need to yeah. go, I, you guys didn't tell me that. We need to go back. Mm. Um, I, haven't, I haven't been on hunting in weeks. Last thing that... Because it's hard uh, when you can't do it. At least, before we change the topic to something else, we don't have to. But, uh, I feel like, because I was watching a video, um, I don't want to be, you know, like, rise against, but oh all band. the inner city kids get oh. all oh, the yeah. good stuff. Everything. Like, Agwam is a total dead zone. Do you remember that weekend we were in Hartford? 
Yes. You got an aerodactyl. Yeah. I know, I got an aerodactyl in a building. It's because it's based on movies. data being used. It's... Mm. Which is silly, because you go into the woods and you see nothing. Because yeah, LA... Really be the opposite. Right now, has... Like, you know how they used to have the sites where there's, like, maps and you could figure out what... Yeah, what like, stuff they, they had a map, like, for the world, but then they had another one just for L.A. Because it was so distinct, like, what you can get everywhere. It's mm, crazy. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Like, when Pokevision was still online, mm -hmm. and it starts you in that city. Yeah. Yeah. And it's just... It looks great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. what a lot of, uh... Uh, hackers right now. Oh, yeah, there's a ton. Oh, really? It's like, they opened right Brazil up recently... Mm -hmm. And immediately, there were level thousands in the gyms. Nice. It's because you can change your GPS location. Yeah. Ooh. You can just sit at home and put shit in the gym. Oh, that's cool. No, it's not. It's, I mean, like, like it's oh, okay, yeah, you're right. When they opened up Japan, there was a stream of Chinese players mm -hmm. who would put, like, 2,500 plus in the Japanese gyms and just be like, this is for revenge and just absolute <laughs> dicks about it. what, the nice. Raven Dead Shing? A lot of different Going things, way back? yeah. <laughs> There's still a lot of race tension between the two nations. What's their there? grandpa wants <laughs> getting just <laughs> your Pokemon Go. <laughs> oh god. So it's a nifty little game though. I enjoy it. Yeah. How much uh, how much money have you guys spent on it? Anything? Nothing. Zero dollars. Uh, Twelve. I'm up ten. Ten? You you get, did you get you your guys money, back? money? I spent money. I cause I spent, yeah. we went Charmander hunting and no Pokeballs and I didn't want to waste the time, so I was like, you know what? I was gonna spend as much as I could get for the maximum, because there's like 200 Pokeballs is where you yeah. cap out on, right? That you can buy it once, and so then when you buy the 200, it's more than, it's, it's more less efficient. than buying, yeah, than yeah. just buying 450s. Uh, and then I was at work, and I'm, I'm patching things, right? I was like running out, right? I still had a lot of Pokecoins left, so I just bought like two $1 ones to try to get Pokeballs, because I just don't go to any of the stops at all. I haven't been in such a long time, but... Yeah, what did you buy? I spent 10 of my own money to purchase... I, I didn't realize how inefficient this was at the time, but I've spent m more than 10, but that's Google Play money I got from surveys and stuff, yeah. so I don't count that. But I spent 10 of my own money, and I'm like, oh, man, I'm going to buy like a bunch of incense, because that feels like the uh, best way the to way go to, about it. No. Yeah, uh, I just finished using it up yesterday. Incubators are probably the way to go. Exactly. The only money, yeah. Yeah. The only money I was prepared to spend was when when the golf course was Charmander Nest. I was going to rent a golf cart, and we were going to be like Jurassic Park. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be we, we can't do that, because <laughs> the tracker's gone. Did you get your money back, team? No. That's on my like, list you can. to do. I can. I should. You contact them. Or Apple or whoever. Wait, what happened? You can get your money back. Yeah, the you game's tell them. shit right now. Oh, okay. Because you spend money and the game isn't in the main th what it says it is. Yeah. You get in, your money back. And the main thing is, not even what it says it is, it's not what it was when you, mm -hmm. when you spent your exactly. money. Mm -hmm. You know, because it's like, oh, I feel they so took out bad pictures. for that dude who caught an Arctic Uno in Ohio. No, okay, see, let me go through so, that story. I, I know the story. Yeah. Okay, there was a little girl who got it. But I mean, like, a person. Yeah, yeah, no, no, but the, the point was... I thought um, that was fake because she said she posted no, the email. No, no, there is so many things that prove that. No, there was uh, like they announced it was they announced it was real. They said this happened by mistake, but we're gonna take it away because. Yeah. Oh, it what? They, they took it away. It was it was real. Yeah, it was they 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 fucked up and they like it was just out in the wild and she's like, "What really? is this?" And she caught it. Okay, because I heard something very different. I mean, I caught, there was more than one person that got it. Oh, okay. That there, was, there was like I think there was one. Like real seven. quick, this girl posted the email. She apparently said she was getting it legitly, mm -hmm. and that Niantic gave it to her. Yeah, that's what I heard. And she posted the email, and Arnakuna was spelt wrong. So people <laughs> were like, this is bullshit. Yeah, but uh, I know there's one one dude in Ohio. I don't know if it was a guy or a girl. I thought it was a guy. Yeah, it's and it was it was on a street corner, and he was, he took pictures of all of it. Yeah, like the like he screenshotted catching it where it was, and uh, Niantic came out and they said like. Yeah, that was that was our bad. We're just gonna take this back. That shouldn't have yeah. posted anything. Yeah, because I mean, Niantic. Bad company. Yeah. I heard what he heard. I totally way, get why Ingress didn't take off. Um, where what happened was apparently uh, a girl uh, transferred her Pidgeotto on accident or Pidgeotto or something like that. And she sent an email. Then I had to be like, oh, I didn't mean to do this. Is there, can I get it back? So it was and apparently as compensation, they just gave her the Articuno. That's what I heard. I don't know. Oh, uh, okay. That's interesting. They yeah. spelt it wrong. Exactly. Yeah. So it's like... I transferred a Pidgeotto day two. I didn't think to email them. I didn't oh, think yeah, you know care. Can I get it back? You remember that? We were, uh, we were in, we in Pentacon, <laughs> and I was like, what just happened? The professor already ground yeah. it up to make candy. Yeah. At least right the there's plenty of Pidgeys. What? There's so many Pidgeys. It's like... Yeah, it's stupid. But that was... That was back... Remember my app wouldn't Back work? then. My, my app wouldn't work the first weekend when it still worked for everybody. Pidgeot used to be a big deal. That changes something completely. Not Where good. were you that week? What is this story? Okay. So you want to hear a story of me being an idiot? Sure. That's what the story is. Uh, so I'm leaving the parking garage, and I had a hard time with that. 
So I'm getting my car, and I'm leaving the parking garage, and I'm driving up, and I'm like, fuck, what do I pay? So I park the car. I'm like, I'm making sure it's at the exit thing. So I run over, it's like, okay, I see it. It's at the exit thing. So I get back in my car. And I drive up, and I'm looking at it, and I'm like, I need a card. I need a credit card for this. I don't have one. So if someone was behind me, it would have been a big fucking deal. I have to be like, everyone back up. I need to leave. No one was. So I back up, I park, and then I go and find the thing to pay with money, with cash. And so I put my, uh, my ticket in, and I'm looking around, I don't see a place for my coins. So I'm like holding my quarter, I'm like, shit. <laughs> so, uh, oh, is this I'm North, like, this is Northampton, right? I'm in Northampton, I'm trying to leave. I, uh, I put my coin like into the, I like hover it over what I'm pretty sure is where you put the dollar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, God. this isn't right. <laughs> And then I lose it, and it's in there, and it's stuck, <laughs> and it's blocking it. I'm like, well, fuck. Because now I don't have a card, so I can't do that. And now I can't even put a dollar in the thing because my quarter's blocking it. <laughs> so more people start to come up, and whenever they do, I'm sitting there like, some idiot stuck a quarter in there. <laughs> and they're like, oh, shit, you're right. And then they pay with a card or whatever, and they leave. And... Some people try to help me. They try to, like, take it out, right? And it's no good. And I'm thinking, I'm going to have to tell someone. I'm going to have to, like, contact the people. And then part of me was like, I wonder if there's a video camera here. And I did the worst thing you can do when you wonder that is I looked directly at it. I'm like, <laughs> there's a camera. So I'm going to contact them. They're going to wonder who did that. Now I'm gonna be with them, and they're gonna be like, "It's this, it's you, <laughs> idiot." I'm like, "Uh, yeah, you got me." <laughs> and then another person comes up, and I'm, I do the same thing. I'm like, "Uh, some idiot." And then they take like a little card out, and they like try to get it out, and they did. And I'm like, "Fucking, I love you. You're awesome." So they leave, and then I put in my dollar. It spits it out. <laughs> put in another dollar, spits it out. Every dollar spits it right out. So I'm like, "Fucking, kill me already." <laughs> I'm stuck in a parking garage at 10 o'clock in Northampton. So, uh, I finally found where you put coins. It was like two inches above it. <laughs> so I was fine the whole time. Do so I just the, put the coins in there. Do you want to the best part about that story? Yeah. I've been in Northampton a lot. That parking garage has five pay stations. <laughs> it does, like every floor, right? Every floor. <laughs> Yeah, it was just me being an idiot the whole you know, the whole night. I thought where I thought this was going was you only had a limited amount of money and it was all coins and mm -hmm. like you were gonna like you had your last quarter right and I <laughs> thought like you were gonna put it in the thing and then you were, oops and like dropped it like fell in a drain. <laughs> <sighs> that story makes me think of the first time a stranger was like really violent and I was around. Mm -hmm. I was at my cousin's wedding when I was a kid, and uh, it was in this huge. We stayed in this like huge hotel thing it was probably like five floors but i was i was younger so i thought it was like it's this huge place and i remember it had this underground parking garage and then it had a, like a, an elevator that went up to the, all the floors and then it had like an upstairs part where you could just like leave walk around the city and go into the hotel through there and my dad told me to go get my sister because uh, she was at my cousin's bar and we go get her and she's like just milling around the parking garage i'm like shay i want to go back upstairs and watch tv or whatever and she's like, oh yeah, I'm just I'm just looking at all the cars or something something that I don't remember. I'm like, fine. Some stupid kid thing. Yeah, I mean, because we were we were both just kids. Yeah, exactly. And uh, I get in the elevator and I go to my floor and because I'm just bitter, I just hit all the buttons. <laughs> but uh, I was really dumb. And I did that. I still need to go up like, like eight floors. So uh, a lot of elevators, you can hit it again and it'll turn off. No one knew how to do this. Yeah. And so uh, then this couple gets in. And I'm like, somebody hit all the floors and got off. And they're like, okay. And then the <laughs> they, next they floor, did the mid strat. I did. I did your strat. And then I did this the next thing. And this kid, because I'm like, I'm like 11 or 12 or something. This like this like 15 or 16 year old gets in, and he's just like, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like somebody hit the floors, and he's just like, he's like, screw the, the couple just gets off. <laughs> he starts yelling. He's like, I need a fight who did something. He's going just, super saiyan. He's just like, doing, he's doing the Goku power up pose. <laughs> <laughs> he's just like shaking back and forth. Oh, and I'm just like, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll get him. I like, we'll, we'll get him. <laughs> <laughs> he just, he's just doing you know, unintelligible, just like grunts in the elevator. He's just rocking back and forth. Then I he's get just, off the elevator. He's just steaming. <laughs> I run down the stairs. I'm like, Shay, we are not taking the elevator ever again. <laughs> Um, I thought I saw a rumor of the story. I don't know why I remembered it, but um, 
every single summer when I was around like 12 until like 15, um, we used to go to my aunt and uncle's house in New Hampshire, right? And um, we, they were always like, they're pretty invested, like uh, family members, and, like in the, in the youth of our family. So they're like, all right, you know, tell us what you guys want to do. You know, we'll get food. We'll do all this stuff. Um, just make a list of things. We can go drive there. You know, we can spend a whole day here. Just whatever you guys want to do. So they're like, you know what? It would be cool. You know, beach day. We're like, all right, cool, beach day. And mind you, the beach that they took us to is not like Meskwamik. It was like beach all around. It's like an old fort, right? Like back in the like 1800s type of fort where they have like, um, they have the the heavy metal for the ships, and they have like an old little like barricades down uh, into it. So it's on off of like a little peninsula, right? And depending on if it was high tide or low tide, being low tide, um, we would go investigate around the fort, right? And so there's this little like raised rock shelter, right? You know, high tide would come on in, and then it would wash back down, and it would just leave like you know dead crab fish, murky water, <laughs> decaying, rotten, like, you just think of the worst stuff that you could just fit in a puddle of water, right? So, like, anything in Rio right now. Basically, <laughs> basically. Um, so, us being kids, you know, we, we want to we wanna do the cool stunts, you know, we want to do, like, the Mario long jump from <laughs> Super Mario 64, you, you know, you just want to investigate everywhere. So, there was this, like, murky puddle of, like, just, for lack of a better word, shit, like, right, and, like, white grossness and so uh someone dared me to jump across it right and my foot got stuck in like the the puddle and i was wearing flip flops right i really like those pair of flip flops so i had to take a stick right and like carve it from like the the stuck mud puddle of, of decaying bone mass like i think i i found just you, there, I know there was a, a crab leg in there, and so after that incident, after I, you know, um, Kaylee was done laughing at me, and uh, they named it Swamp Foot. So now whenever I get like really waterlogged feet, I'm like, dude, I got sw I got Swamp Foot, and it's, it was a really bad experience. It sucks. Where was that in New Hampshire? Um, I, I can, used to go to New Hampshire all the time. Oh really? Because yeah. I can um, always text my aunt. On where, because I don't actually know where she lives. I just know, like, hey, we're going to Aunt Kelly's house, and so whoever's driving, I'm like, on my GPS. But I don't, I don't actually know. I just yeah. know it's like near Old Fort, and it's like beach. Yeah, cause when you live, it's very small like, beach. They just take you. They just take it's you. Like whatever. Yeah. Like we're just going someplace. Sure. I don't know why it's uh, that story reminded me. I remember when I was younger, me, Brian, and not our Chris, but Chris I knew before. We were all uh, we were all there. And we're like, oh, we'll go, we're gonna go on the bumper cars, and they were one sort. So I jumped in a bumper car with Brian, so we could all be in there. Mm. And the order was Chris, then it was this girl in the bumper car between our cars, and then it was me and Brian. And Chris, no, it was, it was Chris was behind us, and the girl was in front of us because Chris kept shoving our bumper car into that girl, and she's like, stop it! <laughs> <laughs> and we're like, we're not doing it. And Chris is just laughing at us, just shoving it. And uh, these two 18-year-old dudes. In like the wife beaters with the neck tats. Oh, oh yeah. They're, they're on the other side of the bumper car thing. They're pointing at us just yelling in just a different language. And we're like, <laughs> oh, oh, okay. And uh, we get it. We we go through the lap. And they're like, they're still pointing at us just yelling. They're like chasing us down. They're ignoring it. They're like, we between okay. all the other cars trying to get close to us. <laughs> and uh, so like the timer runs out. They lift the restraints. And uh, just they out. just jump out of the thing. They start like running at us. <laughs> and the girl just runs in front of them and does... Like the end of the, like the movie, holding them back. She's like, I can only hold them for so long. Uh -huh. <laughs> so we like we kind of gun it out of there, and we're like, what what just happened? And we're like, we're just looking around, and that guy, he just he yells to three people, and then we're in line, and now three people just jump out with him. Now there's five dudes just yelling at us, just chasing us through the park. Jesus Christ! And uh, <laughs> we we cut through a line and jumped on a roller coaster, and that's like centered in the park. So we were just doing laps, and they were just on the ground, just pointing at us, just waiting. And then, uh, then a security officer saw them and escorted them out. Okay. But Jesus. We thought we were done for a little bit. Oh. So how do you guys feel about DC movies? Suicide Squad came out recently. That's okay. a weird transition. I was good. Oh, just to, just to said, date this, today's August 11th. Mm -hmm. I thought you said Disney movies. Oh. DC. <laughs> Batman v Superman was good. Yeah, right? 
It's I liked good. it more than a lot of people did. You saw Suicide yeah. Squad? No, uh, no, Batman vs. Superman. Batman I, I liked Superman. it a lot. I liked it. Everyone I've talked to has liked it, but all the reviews say it's garbage. Mm -hmm. Maybe people like it. I feel like, like that's going to be the same thing with Suicide Squad. I haven't seen it yet. I've heard a lot of bad things. It's getting chat on. Just like I hear, Superman. I hear people, like average people, like it. Yeah. Maybe they're getting paid out by Marvel. Uh, there you go. <laughs> Disney owns that Marvel, Disney so money. it wouldn't be out of the question. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'd see it. We should all go see it. Suicide yeah. Squad? Sure. I, was... I, I bet it's fine. Yeah. Someone Absolutely. said, one of the reviewers said, worse than Fantastic Four. Oh, God. Whoa, Which I didn't see either, but I don't believe it. That's. I don't think you can. It's a that's... harsh. That's a harsh review right there. Doctor Doom. Fantastic. That Fantastic Four was if if we all grabbed a camcorder and said, "Let's just make off a movie right they now." They did that once, really? back before the ones, like there was this one, right? This mm -hmm. Fantastic Four. There was the last group, and then there was one before that mm -hmm. that they just did just to keep the rights. They just made some piece of shit Fantastic Four movie. <laughs> Straight to DVD. <laughs> yeah, didn't look good. Speaking of uh, current movies. A lot of the information for the international release of the Warcraft movie just got released today. Oh, okay. I thought that was out. No, like the information about how it how well it fared in oh. uh, other or not domestically, internationally. Mm -hmm. And it looks like it hit really badly domestically. Oh yeah. Terribly, and even the generally movies like this depend on the Chinese market for a lot of their money. A lot do yeah. And tanked. It's getting a thirty to forty million loss, oh. which isn't as bad as Ghostbusters. <laughs> Just a whole nother was Suicide that, that Squad isn't, gonna, was... isn't even going to be released in China. Really? Yeah. Jesus. It was that There's bad, so or...? They just they don't think yeah. that it's going to do well enough to, for it to be worth it. People Maybe. always said, uh, they were like going nuts over the Star Wars numbers, and there are people I kept hearing that were like, it hasn't even released in China yet, and then it didn't even do that great in China. And I knew it wouldn't, because they don't, they don't care about Star Wars. Star Wars isn't like universally no. loved. It's, it's, it's not, just here. It's not objectively good, it's just, it hit nostalgia. Yeah. They space it right enough where everyone can see it as a little kid, mm -hmm. then everyone can see it when they can spend a lot of disposable income. Yeah. But now it's just probably going to be once a year. Yeah. Forever. What do you guys think of, uh, the new Zelda game coming out? I'm excited as You're excited? Always. You hear about so, the NX? We're going to be way out of date when we release the podcast, but, <laughs> uh, you hear that the NX is going to be portable? I did, actually, yes. It's, it's come, uh, portable and will hook up to TVs. Really? Yeah. So it's just like a... So it's, a, it's pretty much a DS you can hook up to your TV almost. A what? Just, like a DS. <laughs> it's what the yeah. GameCube should have been. Because they had the handle on the yeah. back. See, that was good though. Mm -hmm. like you bring it to your friend's house. Cool. Like, back in the old days. That's kind of like what they wanted to do with the PS3 and the Vita. Mm -hmm. Or the PS... Oh. One of those. Yeah, something. You, could, you could play games on both right, systems. Right. Like yeah, you yeah. could do that. You could do that. I, yeah. if you you had, could, but it didn't really take off. Like I don't know a lot of people Because you needed that. Both of them. You needed both. It took off well in its home company or home comp home country, excuse me, of Japan. Yeah. Uh, but it didn't hit too well internationally in like America and Britain and all the other first world countries. Well, there's just no Xbox in Japan. It's all, yeah, it does. It's all Sony there. and Nintendo. Does anyone know when the PS5 is coming out? Uh, if I had to well, guess, a couple months before it, Kingdom Hearts Three. Isn't it? New? <laughs> I would, if I had to guess, it's in 2020. Aren't they doing Neo? Really? Isn't that the next you think one? so? What? For PlayStation Neo, isn't that the next thing coming up? I don't know. Just for for lack of a better, you know, assumption, yeah. just the PS5. Yeah, so yeah. I'm just That'll be out for yeah. like five years, and they'll, they'll, you know, might release Kingdom Hearts 3. <laughs> I'm just considering like buying a PS4, so I didn't know if anyone was in the know about just that. Just historically, mm -hmm. PS3 to PS4 were seven years. But that was the longest. I the, would say... No, like of all the console yeah, generations. Yeah, I still think that was the uh, PS, so be PS2 to PS3 was six. Yeah, but again, the whole seventh generation console, Xbox 360, uh, Wii, and PlayStation 3 was the longest I think, uh, console generation. If anything, it would be longer than shorter. Yeah. Just That's just my guess. Oh. My, it's, that could be totally wrong. Yeah. yeah. Could come out next year. They could announce it next year. Can yeah. we turn the light on? I'm just, <laughs> yeah, sure, I can barely see my hand the face. Sure. What do you think about, like, the, lights? the new Zelda game? Oh, I'll get They're it. They're like, if I believe. Or it is in the timeline is correct. They have a lot of like Sheikah technology. Mm. Like, what do you what do you think of that? Because I like, I kind of think oh. it's goofy how um, Link has like the the Sheikah cell phone tablet thing, but yeah. I kind of like it at the same time. Yeah, it's so I have I have a theory about the story of the game. Mm -hmm. I haven't I made this theory up. I have not found it online anywhere. Oh, I just really? want you guys to have a witness. No. Uh, have you guys seen any of the gameplay? Yes, I have. You know, there's an old man in the beginning. Yeah. No. I, oh wait, the, uh, under the under the under the under the yeah. Hood. I think here's how the story's gonna go. It's gonna go. 
It's going to be in the... De Here's my guesses. It's going to be in the Defeated Hero timeline. You know what? That old man... Is, is that... What? Majora's Maj Maj Mask? No, Majora's Mask no, is Hero. No, that was uh, when, like, Ocarina of Time, you, you go to fight Ganon, and then Link just dies. Oh. And then it goes... That's, like, yep. the Zelda 1, Zelda 2, yep. like, to Majora's, the past. Okay. Majora's Mask is, uh... Like, you wouldn't go back in time, you get you you hang out with Zelda, Navi flies away, and then you go looking for Navi. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's Twilight um, Princess. Windmaker is the timeline where, like, the adult wins, and what happens with that world once he leaves. Yeah. Um, and the feed timeline is Link, they, they never explain what happened. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna, and my theory explains why that happened. Oh. So I think it's gonna be the defeated timeline. That old man is Rauru, who's yeah. the sage who sealed him in the temple. Yeah. Because he's gonna talk to Link, because they're gonna reveal through the story, he's gonna be like, yeah... This kid pulled the Master Sword, and as a kid, he tried to fight Ganon and got killed. You need to like do these things that'll let me go back in time and stop him from doing that. That's going to be the end game. That whole mission is going to be like, let me go back in time to stop this. Okay. That's cool. Yeah, I have heard a theory that uh, Link died, right? The, the one that you play as, mm -hmm. and it takes. He's in like the Sanctuary of Rebirth or Resurrection or something, and like. What what he's in looks like the the back to tanks from Star Wars, mm -hmm. right? You know how yep. it's like you can kind of like seal yeah. in the water, and the reason why it's a hundred years after it's because like it takes a hundred years to bring someone back to life, yeah. right? And then he's got to go fight again. And uh, don't forget that people live forever in that world. Because really? they said Link's grandma in Wind Waker was one hundred and ninety. Really? Yeah. Christ. Maybe they're just like hobbits. They just uh, not forever, but a little while. It might as well be forever. Mm -hmm. I heard you get to the end and you fight Ganon and he just can't side you. <laughs> That'd yeah. be fitting. He just jumps up, grabs you, and just straight yeah. down the corner. I don't play Zelda, so all I got. Yeah. yeah. I was, a, uh, when I was watching the trailers and stuff, um, when he when he was in the actual armor, mm -hmm. just plate mail and stuff, that yeah. got me the most. He's using the lance and the full armor, mm -hmm. and it just. It, I never disliked like the green robes. It's just I feel like in this one because you can. It's a the whole equip system and different weapons and, yeah. and jazz. It's just going to be a lot more who you want Link to be. Yeah. And it's how you want to play, mm -hmm. which I'm excited for. I don't, I, I'm not a fan of the weapons breaking, because that, that brings in, like, swords into the too-good-to-use thing. You know? Like, if I'm going to find a sword, I don't want it to break. I'm going to be like, I'm never going to use this until the last boss. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah, I'm going to go through that. the whole game with, like, a branch. <laughs> I try to have that mindset. What? That I just, you just hoarder all your weapons mm -hmm. in case you might need it. I just like might as well. You right. get plenty. It's whatever. Every Pokemon game I finish with like all ten elixirs. I've mm -hmm. I, even yeah. even before the last guy in the Elite Four, I'm like something else is coming. I know it. There's gonna be that sixth guy this time. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I finished Fallout Four. I had like Ooh. you know forty mini nukes. I like, didn't need them, so I'm just like firing away whenever now. Yeah. But now I kind of want to bridge up both these things. Now I want to talk about Sun and Moon, but all I right, really we'll want to talk about We'll do Sun and Moon first. So um, you guys have seen all the trailers that have been coming out, all the new shit. Nope. Stuff. Uh, I've, seen, I've, seen, I've seen, seen, seen a little bit. I've seen a little bit of the new Pokemon. It. I know. I know it's a Sandcastle. Yeah. Is I know there's like yeah, there's Aloha. Uh, Pokemon now? No, yeah, like Alola. Variants. Aloha. Aloha Pokemon. That's the region. And then it's it's Alola. Alola. It's Alola. Whatever, man. <laughs> Aloha. But like, yeah, there's the, the new forms. I know that. I know the leaks that are not real. All I've Which seen ones? is the execute that is like the dragon tall. grass one That's, with the huge oh, head. Yeah. yeah, I didn't think that was real, but I thought you see the one where like the grass owl is like an archer. That's real. That's like, that, that, is that real? Because that was leaked with um, the Rowlet, the Rowlet one, the Poplio, and the Litten one were all released at the same time. I'm gonna yeah. jump on Google because I haven't seen anything. No. For this and game. then in the Litten one. There's a character, there's this one thing where the, where the final form's all like this and there's a bunch of trainers around it. Yeah. And one of the trainers in it was shown off in one of the most recent trailers. Yeah, yeah. So, which is how it. we know all three of those are, right? So it's like the Rowlet one is like with this huge yeah, yeah. ball. Oh, that's bad. Litton's this the fire, the dark, like giant fucking dude, wrestler, dude. dude. Isn't there an ice Vulpix? Yes, that's one of the so Aloha forms. Aloha Cubone, let's say. <laughs> Marowak. Is he a new number? No. It's it's just a Cubone. From what we understand, or Marowak. we don't it's know if we're going to be... If it's going to be like both, or if it's just when it's in that region, it's that. Mm -hmm. But with Marowak, it's either going to be the ground, or it's going to be when it's like it's fire psychic. Wait, fire there's a, a fire psychic Marowak. Fi yeah, like, fire ghost. I think it's, like it's fire exclusive ghost. though catching it because you know how like it's Darwinism when he's like the Galapagos Islands and like the Pokemon that are there are different because they have to mm -hmm. adapt to their surroundings. Was well, like an island-based region, even though it's based on J Japan, but it's an island-based region. So it's like those Pokemon there have to adapt Hawaii. different. Like there's a water Arcanine. 
No. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I didn't see that. That looks like he's got like this kind of looks like Vaporeon a little bit. Yeah, both uh, from Arawak, like both sides of his bone are on fire, yeah. and he looks like the dude is just like spinning in the oh, ground. Oh, that's sick! Oh, that's so sad. Mm -hmm. But there's a, there's a lot. There's a lot of new mm -hmm. ones. The um, mm -hmm. a lot of them are Gen One because yeah. people think that because the ones that you catch in Alola are gonna be the form, and if you want the other one, that you can port directly from oh, the, the, the yeah the, the emulators, you and you can 3S. just through there, so you don't have to go all the way yeah. back to GBA Leaf Green. Fire Red, to get your regular one. So the majority are. Uh, I don't think there's these, any that haven't been. I don't know. What, I, don't think, mm -hmm. I read somewhere between Aurus and X and Y, you can catch every single Pokemon. Yep. Uh, yeah, because once they released Auras, every single generation is within the trading possibility. Have you played No Man's Sky? I have not. I I, have, I was a couple days ago. apprehensive when I first saw it, and I, I was following it for a while, and then after the absolute, for lack of a better word, shitstorm when some mm -hmm. stuff came out about it. I'm 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 not touching on the ten foot pole. I'm uh, the, uh you go ahead. I'm unfamiliar with this shitstorm. What happened? Um, so for the longest time, Sean something rather the main developer of the game was like, um, like Sean starts with an M. Yeah, something. he's like with, it's with Murray. Mm, probably, he says, oh, it's this multiplayer game, but you'll never see each other. It'll take so long to right. find each other on a planet. And so these two dudes, the first mm -hmm. day it's out, these two streamers, they find a planet that they both saw and they're like. Let's go and find each other because one of his biggest selling points is you'll never see your character unless someone else describes it to you. Like that, that's what he said once. He definitely said, "You can see other players and they can see you." Yeah, and that's his quote. They go to the they, same planet. They, they go to the, the they go to the same. They go to the space station. The planets are way too big. You'll never find each other. Well, yeah. The space station near the planet is where you can meet up because it's tiny. So they both go there. They're standing in the same spot, looking where where they should be, and there's no one there. So that was yeah. a huge thing, and then I actually have, um, I don't actually have it on hand, but I can probably find it where there was some Twitter responses from Sean, mm -hmm. and they're like, Sean, why can't we see each other? And they're like, wow, you know, I didn't think people would find each other this early. It's a wondrous big game, isn't it? The fact That's that you huge. can find each other. They want. And then that was it. He never actually said anything. He just gave the workaround for so it. So do you think, yeah, do you think they just spawned near each other by chance, mm -hmm. because it's, you, like, the, you're never supposed to be able to see other people? That's the point. Yeah, it's supposed to be this huge thing. It's like you're finding someone is supposed to be this huge, um, like an event that probably doesn't happen every single time you play it. Probably a trophy. So, huh, so, great bluff, though. Yeah, exactly. Great people, bluff. People were laughing, though, because he has a quote that's like, we'll probably never see another player. It's like, because it's not coded into the game. That's why you'll never see him. Yeah, I bet he, I wonder if he lied about that treasure in the center, too. He's like, no one's going to make it to the center. Someone did before it came out. Really? Oh, and like yeah. the uh, beta or whatever? Someone like got early somehow and... Oh yeah, because he got like, like 10 days early. He was boosting yeah. and he got to the center. And I, don't, I don't remember, I didn't look up what he found. Yeah. But uh... There's no One Piece? <laughs> I don't He might have found it. On all seven Dragon Balls. I wonder but, if the uh, One Piece, like the thing, the treasure in the center was uh... It was access to the other character sprites and oh he just God. deleted it. <laughs> I like he the made game. there, he's like, no one will see anyone ever yeah. and just stabbed it. <laughs> They were arguing though. They're like, all of a sudden, like they realized, wait a minute, one of the guys doesn't have PlayStation Plus, so then he bought it, and then they still didn't see each other. I think. I still want to see some of it. All I hear about it just makes me want to finish Metroid Prime because I like I started then I had the eleven hour shifts. But cool. uh, it's I'm unique. I'm sad you can't have your little space gang because that's the thing I really wanted. I want like a space no man, or a space Daisy, where you just you fly around your little ships. <laughs> yeah, you know. people wanted the Daisy aspect of it, but it's like it's almost too big. Mm. It's not a multiplayer game. I mean, really. It really is. Yeah, yeah. It's really not a multiplayer exactly. game. Exactly. You really gotta think of it like a so, single player game. Exactly. His bluff was how I always viewed games as a little kid. I, I always thought when I played Smash Bros. when I was 10, I was like, you know, I bet this Samus, the level 9, is how good you are when you're against the single player story and like they just match you up against someone else who's also <laughs> fighting your character. Uh, so his, that was just his bluff. He's like, you know, it's not computers, those are people. <laughs> What's like the worst assumption you made as a kid about how things worked. Ooh. Oh, oh, I have a good one. There's a church near my house, and you know the church because no, you live yeah. near me. I thought that church was the White House. But I actually <laughs> thought the White House, in the better words, I thought the White House was the Capitol building. Yeah, so, I thought that too, actually. So I have this church, with the, like it's a giant white church with the same dome. I'm like, oh, the president lives down the street from me. That's cool. <laughs> That's neat. <laughs> nice. Say hi one day. Mine is how commercials worked. I didn't understand who decided the order and which ones go up. So I thought it was a, they were all in a room, the makers of these ads. And whenever an ad ended, the first person to, like, 
say something or raise their hand, they got it, and then their ad got to go up. <laughs> and you know, sometimes it's like twice in a row, it's the same one. Yeah. It's just that dude was just doing good. He was just killing it. It's like a Jeopardy buzzer you click mm -hmm. a second yeah, yeah. time in. And then you get your ad. And it's in that split second in between commercials. Yeah, when it goes black for just an instant. Mm -hmm. Super quick. <laughs> and then someone pushes all the buttons. I was like trying to think of something as a kid. You were very no, perceptive. I was just like... No, I got nothing. Whenever I think of like... When I was... When I was like younger, all I can think about was uh, how... Every single like, and this is when I was like really younger, so I'm still playing with like the Cowboys and Indians, right? Yeah. Every like single thing I had, because my mom got me into Lord of the Rings like really young as a kid, so every single battle I had with like the Legos, like the army men, and like the castles and stuff was just the Battle of Helm's Deep, <laughs> and I was just playing my own version, the Battle of Helm's Deep, because I had like the huge like. The huge, so you had like Lego people and you had army men, right? And those were like, you know, those were the regular soldiers. But then you had, you know, your karate Kens and your uh, disco Barbies. And those were supposed to be like the giants, right? <laughs> and so like they're pushing the towers I made with like Lego. So and it was just, it was fun. I can't think of anything in particular that I, was, I misinterpreted as a child. But my uncle would just feed me lies because he thought it was hilarious. Oh, nice. Where when I was like six or seven... He would, uh, him, his wife, and their kids would visit us. They live in Maryland, and he'd he'd feed me these these little white lies that I, I never really had a chance to check because I can't go down to Maryland when I'm seven. He'd be like, "the the sky is always green," or um, <laughs> like clouds are licorice, and I'd be like, "I want to go to Maryland." And he he was like brainwashing me to force my parents to visit him in Maryland. <laughs> oh, nice! <laughs> so disappointing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We think I was a really gullible little kid. I was too. It's a uh, when I learned how to swim, I was like five, and Shay was older than me. I don't know why she was, I guess she was probably mad at me or something, because I was just swimming for the first time, and my folks were sitting off, like, watching us from a distance, but they can't hear us, and Shay's like, hey, did you see the news yesterday? And I'm like, no, what happened? And she's like, they just found out people can breathe underwater now. Oh, God. And I'm like, really? She's like, but it only works if you do it right. And I'm like, how do you do it right? She's like, you go underwater, you open your mouth, and you breathe in as much as possible, as quickly as possible. <laughs> you could have died, dude. Shay was, oh my God, she was a murderer. Shay was, oh, some of the stories were bad. I tell you about Kayla and I are two for two on life-threatening, mortal, wounding injuries, right? Okay, so uh, I remember who had first blood. It was me, right? I was really angry at, at her for something. We were about to go to get ice cream with the same aunt who lives in New Hampshire. And I was mad at her, and I just, like, took the door. And, like, I didn't know she was right there. But I'm like, you know, I'm just slam something. So I slammed the door, right? And, like, her fingers got, like, caught in the door jam, right? And, like, all of her fingernails just fell off. Oh. So that was first blood. Uh, next was we were in the Jeep, right? And it was in the garage. And Kaylee had, it was her and her friend and driver and shotgun. And it was me and my other friend. And the back seat, right? And she like went to go like say something to me, and then she like pushed me like on the chest and like pushed me back. And my head went back, right? And then I like cut my head open like right across here. I need to like go to the ER and get like stitches because I hit some sort of metal part in in the back of the jeep, and uh, I was bleeding a lot. I ruined my favorite shirt. It was like a pale pale blue periwinkle shirt had blood on it, and I was pissed. I was like, Kaylee, fuck you, you ruined my favorite shirt. Buy me a new shirt. That was one in one. Uh, the next thing, which she's a total weenie about, she didn't even get, she didn't even get hurt a bit. I accidentally set her pants on fire. <laughs> and, uh, was she a liar? She was, she was a liar. Um, she had plants for hire. And, uh, it was with a marshmallow, right? And I was just, like, twirling it around, trying to be the Q-bone from Alola, right? Oh, okay. And, uh, Used I just before. caught her, like, linen pants, you know, she didn't even get burnt at all, you know, it was put out in two seconds, and then... The way she got me back was, you know those old zipline things that they have at the uh, jungle gyms, you know, no. where someone can like, you know, you can either lift off, someone can, can push you softly, you know, <laughs> towards the thing so you get air time, right? Apparently, she was not like, hey, you see that, see that little boy over there? You should, you should go push him and not like, you know, like swings, oh, 
He'll push you. We have a great time. No. She told him to push me off. I was, like, landing. You know, they have those, like, elevated platforms mm -hmm. where you just, you're off the ground a little bit. I fell off and I landed oh, on my neck. She got someone else to do it? She got someone else to do it. She brainwashed me. <sighs> I know. And that was, that was two and two right now. Well, and to be fair with the shade thing, it's like, I was a little shit. I probably deserved it. Oh, no, yeah. it's fine. It's just, it's weird, because, like, I would never think Shay would say that by knowing who Shay is now. Never would have thought that. It's funny. You're up on me in air hockey. Oh, yeah, that's Little right. Bitch. Wait, wait, what's our, what's our score again? It's like... I'm, 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 I have, like I have two on to you. Three. I know it was tied. Air hockey? It's like seven to five. I'm, every time uh, we see an air hockey table, TJ and I have to play it. Yeah. Usually it's at the movies. Mm -hmm. Uh... It used to start at the movies. And I we went like, twice. I went the like movies. the first three or something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, we were bowling. That's when I kicked your ass. You beat oh, me at the bowling? movies. Um, because I know we went to the movies like once or twice. So, so we went bowling that time. And I remember when we went to the beach with Brian's girlfriend mm -hmm. and her model friend. Her model friend. We was played right? it there in the arcade. I remember playing air hockey there, and then we played air hockey at the casino. You've been beating me a lot lately. And you used to kick my ass though, especially like. It you was only that bowling alley. Only the bowling alley? Yeah. We gotta go back. Yeah, we gotta go back. <laughs> to go bowling. To go bowling. Is that why you don't go bowling anymore? I don't wanna, uh, I'm not going to name any names, but I played someone at bowling. Someone in the group. And their, their, their final score was like 30. Brian. It wasn't Brian. It wasn't Brian? Because for the last time, Brian's like, I'm a bowling champ. And then it was like, going straight it gunners. Is. Yeah, I know who it is. Was I there for that game? Um, I think you were. You might have been. Yeah. Northampton? Uh, probably. Yeah. Yeah, I was. It's been, uh, been a while. no good lately. It's just because, because uh, all the UMass people are there, mm -hmm. and we just can't. We can't bowl. <laughs> well, that was in Chickabee, yeah. Too, too big of a line. We've been going to Chickabee <laughs> lately. Where is your usual bowling hub? What's really been uh, Northampton? Northampton? Is that a good place to go? It's pretty good. You can do uh, <laughs> Galactic, right? Is that a shaker, or what does that mean? Is that a shaker bowl? Yes. Oh, is it? Yeah, but if we're if it's like past a certain time and we know we're not gonna mm -hmm. yeah. get the bowl because it's a big ass line. Oh yeah. Uh, we go to Chickabee. Okay. We call it there. That's pretty good. Yeah. Good reboot. Yeah. All right. Uh, that's it.